Coogan Cassius IFL TV, MTK Global. We're at the MTK show here in Brentwood. Star studded lineup today. We've got Michael Essien, Ollie Murs, uh, Ted Cheeseman, Craig Richards. All the, We're all here in the building, you know. We're out here live and direct, you know, making the show live. We out here. <laughs> How are you, first of all? I'm good, I'm good. Very well. Just been working hard, training hard as always. Now, obviously, Eddie Hearn stated from a little while ago that the fight he wants to make is yourself and Jose Burton. My sources tell me that talks are kind of possibly ongoing for that fight, but what can you tell us about that current situation? Well, you know me, I'm not really vocal on usually too much on social media and stuff, but as soon as I saw a few call-outs, etc., you know, we went behind the scenes, tried to make it happen, and then we heard negotiations broke down on the other side and whatever. So, you know me, I'm always ready, ready to go, working. So, it is what it is. It's like, anyone wants it, they can get it. So, okay, if there's a breakdown in kind of the negotiations, can you be any more specific about what's going on? Is that on, from your side, his side? Well, not too sure, because on my side, we went in negotiation, whatever I agreed on, whatever. Um, then, obviously, I heard back that, there was a little bit of a breakdown on the other side and it weren't able to go through. I heard it was meant to be for April the 20th and now I've heard it's um, not on no more. So I don't know exactly what happened on the other side or what happened in negotiation overall, but I know on my side everything was okay and I don't know what happened from there. So would you call that fight for April the 20th possibly dead in the water now or are you still hopeful it could happen still? I think probably it's probably dead in the water now because um, what I've heard of that the negotiations broke down, so I think that might be dead in the water now, but I'll keep my ears um, close to the ground and, you know, still be training and waiting for any possible opportunities what happen, and I'm ready to go, you know? So regardless of what ha happens with Burton, you're saying it's dead in the water, but you're still planning on fighting on April the 20th? I don't know when um, exactly my fight date's going to be now. I'm just literally in the gym. I'm just waiting for that call. Rather stay ready, you know? Last time when in the Cardiff one, I weren't staying ready. Took it on five days and, you know, so this time, I'm in the gym, I'm working hard. If as soon as that phone call goes, I'm ready to go. So whoever it is, whenever it is, for whatever it is, I'm ready to go. It's a shame if that fight doesn't materialise, because as soon as that was mentioned, Burton and Richards, it, it's a great fight. Great fight for the fans and, you know, for yourselves and, and for Jose. Yeah, it's a great fan. Obviously, I know, um, I looked at, after he asked, heard he was calling me out, etc. I looked and I've noticed that he's not been active in years now properly. He had uh, five fights or something like that since he's um, got knocked out to Buglioni. And um, so I know he's desperate. I saw him, I saw him gate crash uh, Boazzi's interview. I saw him run up on Anthony in LA, um, calling him for a fight, you know, and now I hear him vocal on social media about me. So I'm like, he just wants to scrap. So, you know. Um, he just wants to fight anyone by the looks of it. So I don't, you know, obviously I don't know what's been going on behind the scenes. So, but um, yeah, he's been kind of die crying out for a, bit, a huge fight again for quite some time. Yeah, I heard he has, but you know what? I'll be honest. I'm not, uh, I'm not really that vocal when it comes to social medias and all of that, but these are the sort of fights before that I wanted. You see before the Jake fight, I wanted all these fights. I asked, um, I wanted to know if it was possible 22nd if when Jake pulled out for the White, Dillian White Chisora card, if I could have fought him. I heard he was going over to um, LA to or something to support his cousin in December, so he wasn't able to fight the 22nd. There was all these names in the top 10s I was calling out. I was, I was crying out for title fights. I was crying out for big names and nothing weren't coming about it. So I had to wait for Jake. Um, Jake Bourne now I've dispatched of him and I've moved ranked ahead of all these guys and I've got the title now everyone's on my back I'm hearing all these people on social media they're calling me out everyone's on my back now so thanks man so it's um, a situation where I just got to just sit, see what comes up, the opportunities, and make the right fights for myself, you know, because people wasn't interested in me a few months ago. But now I'm making statements and I've come through and ranked top four now, I think, in Britain. Now people want to call my name. Top four, 15 in the WBA world rankings, they want to know me now. Um, I don't know who the DJ is here, but S Club 7's just come on. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. I might have to swap this box to the DJ for now. <laughs> he assumes giving me the wanker sign behind me. Uh, See, this, 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 this the man who can shed some more light. <laughs> he, 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 
Yes. I'm, I'm the star here. Yeah. Not, not this guy. <laughs> you know, you see, working with me, see what it does? <laughs> so, What's going on? What are we talking about? So, no, we're just talking about um, big fights. We're talking about the Burton call out, saying that we tried to make the fight. The breakdowns broke down. Um, also, we're talking about, I was just talking to him about before even the Jake Bull fight. All these guys, we wanted these names and everyone was ignoring me. And now I'm ranked top four in the country and I've got the title. Now there's everyone's calling me out and these are the fights we're not shying away from. So we're, we're ready for whoever's calling us out. Yeah, the ball's in our court now, isn't it? Do you yeah. know what I mean? And it's also, I know what I put on Twitter the other day, you know, when I was going, yeah, but you don't really know he's a puncher. You don't really know he's a puncher. Look at his last four fights. I mean, you ain't got, no one's gone past three rounds, no. including Joe Ball that was ranked above you. Exactly. So now, you know, people, do they really want to fight? Are people outpricing themselves out of fights? Mm -hmm. You know, they put in big money, oh, I want this, I want this, but do they really want the fights? The fight. You're here, do you know what I mean? They don't want the Sorry, Pete. Just obviously, understandably, Craig was a little bit vague about what happened in terms of the breakdown of negotiations, what he said. So, and you've just said there about people outpricing themselves. So is that what you're saying, that Burton is supposedly outpricing himself, in your opinion? Well, in my opinion, that, that possibly could be the thing. Obviously, you know, we understand that there's politics behind it. We understand Colin, Callum Johnson has got the Commonwealth title. There was a condition that he would only vacate it if, if, if Burton was to fight for it. You know, obviously Spider's there now for the Commonwealth title. The fight's not been made. We're we're, we're ready. We want the fight. That's that's the that's the end of it. As he priced himself out of the fight, I don't know, but it was supposed to be on April the twentieth. Callum Johnson's got the Commonwealth. Gotta get City vacate it. If Burton can fight for it, we're ready to fight for it. We've been made to fight for it. The fight's not happened. Well, it's, I mean, look, like I said to Craig, I don't know what's going on behind the scenes, and obviously there's stuff that's in terms of negotiations, but from what we know of Jose Burton, he's been crying out for a big fight and, and he'll fight anyone. I mean, you know, so, but obviously there's stuff that's happening behind the scenes that we're not privy to, that maybe you guys are, but oh, we had a little insight to possibly what's going on. Yeah, obviously, I mean, we can't talk about figures and numbers on, on social media or any sort of any sort of media. But you know, we 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 we, we told Match what we wanted for the fight. It was a, it was it was a, it was a fair amount of money, and they come back and they said, well, you know, the money ain't white for the for the two opponents, you know, to to fight for the uh, to fight for the Commonwealth title. But as we said, you know, either fight anyone, you fight anyone now, you know. I'm ready season now I'm ready to go you know as you've seen since I've stepped up from light heavyweight I took that fight on short notice been training every fight ain't gone past three rounds everyone's been knocked out within three rounds we've had two southpaws two orthodoxes so every star every every opponent we're just ready to go now um, Craig labeled the fight now dead in the water with Burton is that how you're taking that as well not really, you know, it may be put on for another day. You know, obviously we've got the WBA uh, continentals and all to defend, you know, and it was always a fight. I was saying, you know, even though if we, if we fought for the Commonwealth, you're still putting the, w, the WBA belt on, line, on the line anyway. So we had something to give. What's Burton got? Burton ain't got nothing. Burton's got nothing to bring to the table. He's got something to bring to the table. He's got the WBA. He's, got, he's ranked above Burton now. So, you know, we're, we're, he's, he's the man in the headlights at the minute, you know. A quick word. Did you both watch uh, Anthony Yard yesterday, and what did you make of his knockout of uh, Travis Roos? Um, yeah, I watched it. I watched it. It was it was a good stoppage. It was a good stoppage. What did you make of it? Yeah, listen for for, for the opponent Travis. No disrespect to him, but you know everyone's kind of been crying out for Anthony to kind of well, I would say a better cal caliber of oppositions because he's been in with whoever he's been in with. But we want to kind of see the domestic opponents more so. That's what. Regardless of where they're ranked, we want to kind of, and we've said this to Anthony Yard and Tundi before, but they're kind of building and they're looking at Kovalev now. So we'll see. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what's going on with them much. I've heard they obviously it's all about building and waiting. So, you know, they've got their ideas of what they want to do with their career and it's up to them really. I think, I think my personal opinion, I mean, I like Anthony Yard. I think he's a good fighter. I think he's a lovely man. You know, he's been well managed. He's been well promoted. But to go through the opposition he's been put in with, to jump into someone like Kovalev is a massive, massive jump up in step. I think they should have seen him a little bit more closer. You know, he's ranked number one in Britain at the minute. You know, he's got a big high ranking. I don't know. You know, I'm not, I'm not too sure about it. My dad's here jumping at that level, I think. You know. well, we'll see if, first of all, the WBO order it. But I suppose, look, they're not kind of Tundi and, and Frank and... And so they're not kind of giving in to the pressure. They're doing it their way and they're saying, look, just trust us when the time's come. You know, Tundi's famous line of timings, everything, which we all hear. But I suppose we just have to sit back and watch. They're guiding their career like you're guiding Craig. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's what I said. They're doing a good job, good promotion, good management, good training. And they're, they're guiding them right way, you know, and, and only time will tell.
you know, and, and that's what he, he has to jump in at world class at some stage, you know, if the WBO do make the fight, and then we'll see the Anthony Yard, he, he either is the real deal, or he's not the real deal, but, you know, it's only time will tell, like you said. It's a massive height level difference here, which I'm going to have to try and work out. <laughs> you should have done that for the start, Pete. <laughs> Peter Sims, Craig Richards, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. Both out here in leather jackets. I love it. We mean business, you know? We mean business. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. We work, yeah. Thanks, Craig Richards, mate. Cheers. Thank you.